If you are planning on having total knee replacement surgery or know someone who is, then you should definitely stop what you're doing and listen up. We'll be diving into the world of knee replacement surgery and recovery, specifically focusing on elderly seniors. So stay tuned because we have actionable steps to help you through this process. The medical world has made significant advancements in managing total knee replacement surgery for older seniors and their recovery at home. In fact, inpatient hospital stays, if there are no unique complications, are now more swift and convenient than they were 20 years ago. What used to require several weeks of hospital care may now only require a one-day outpatient stay. So why would you need to have knee replacement surgery as a senior? Well, medical conditions that permanently put wear and tear at the knee joint may render it functionally unusable. If you find yourself limited in walking due to pain or inadequate range of motion in the knee, it may be time to consider knee replacement surgery. The most common reason patients seek knee replacements is due to the chronic effects of osteoarthritis, although other conditions like injuries or abnormal bone growths can also lead to the need for surgery. What are the risks of having knee replacement surgery as an elderly senior? Of course, with any surgical procedure, there are risks to consider. For elderly seniors undergoing knee replacement surgery, these risks may include infection, blood clots, anesthesia complications, damage to surrounding nerves or arteries, pain and swelling around the joint area, implant failure, or allergic reactions to artificial knee joint components. It's important to be aware of these potential risks and discuss them with your healthcare provider. What are the expectations post-operatively for having total knee replacement surgery in the hospital as a senior? After a patient has left the operating room having completed their total knee replacement, he or she will be placed in an inpatient recovery room. Here is where the patient will be monitored and evaluated by nursing and rehabilitative therapy like occupational and physical therapy staff members. It may take a few hours for the anesthesia to fully wear off, which means the patient will have some lack of sensation below the hips and possible negative reactions, such as nausea, vomiting, or just general loss of appetite. If the patient was hooked up to a catheter for surgery, nursing staff will wait for full sensation to come back before removing the line. The patient shouldn't be completely surprised if physical therapy comes in and has them walk the same day as surgery using a walker, even if it's just a few steps in the hospital room. Depending on the patient's response to surgery, if there were any existing comorbidity conditions and knowing the prior level of function, for example, being able to walk independently versus being completely immobile prior to surgery, he or she can expect to stay in the hospital anywhere between one to three days. If a patient's home setup is not appropriate for safe recovery, such as impossible physical barriers, for example, several staircases with no elevator or a lack of caregivers, the doctor may discuss possible discharge to an acute care facility or skilled nursing care before returning home. What are the expectations at home after total knee replacement surgery? Due to the quick healing nature of today's total knee replacements, patients may feel like they are up for routine day-to-day -day tasks only a short time after their hospital stay. It can be challenging to remember that a joint replacement is still considered a major invasive surgery that comes with complications if post-operative precautions aren't followed. The main goal for patients after a total knee replacement is not to fall especially if it involves landing on or contorting the operative joint. Injuring a new joint can result in additional and more complicated hospitalization hours. Examples would be potential readjustment of the knee joint prosthesis, knee joint revision, or managing infection. While at home, patients can place full weight on the knee as long as they move slowly and use medical equipment recommended by their physicians and their therapists. Examples of this would be walkers or canes, Patients should also avoid activities that involve lengthy walks, low squatting, or any movements that cause sharp or inflammatory pain to the operative knee. What are the expectations for outpatient physical therapy and occupational therapy after a total knee replacement? After returning home and possibly receiving home health services. Afterwards, outpatient therapy services would be the next progression. This involves a patient traveling to an outpatient clinic outside of their home to receive rehabilitative intervention for the post-operative knee. Depending on the patient's progress and past medical history, the doctor may recommend one or both types of therapy, including occupational and physical therapy. 
Physical therapy's main purpose in outpatient care is to restore full range to the knee joint and to strengthen the knee muscles for safe walking and standing balance. Occupational therapy targets activities of daily living impacted by the joint replacement and provides ways to increase participation through restoration via exercise or strengthening and adaptive strategies using adaptive equipment and home modifications. What are the typical home modifications that need to be done after having a total knee replacement? Generally, home modifications are quite simple and inexpensive after a total knee replacement, especially if the patient has little to no additional medical complications to consider and has an accessible home. For others, home changes may be required. Usually, a patient can get by with just a walker. Other pieces of equipment or installation may include some or all of the following. A hip kit, which includes long-handled supplies such as reachers and dressing sticks, a raised toilet seat, wheelchair ramps, grab bars, shower benches, long-handled removable shower heads, non-skid mats, and any other assistive device aids that can be used to help perform activities of daily living. An occupational therapist can provide a thorough evaluation that will give a patient a better picture regarding their own unique home modifications. What are the goals for continuing your home exercise program and improving your functional mobility after having total knee replacement surgery? Home exercise programs may be assigned to the patient prior to leaving the hospital or during home health services. This includes any therapeutic exercise that will safely strengthen the joint and increase range of motion. It's crucial to carry out your home exercise program regularly as prescribed by your primary physician and therapists. Engaging in these exercises will help you regain mobility, such as walking, standing, and transfers. Skipping or neglecting your home exercise program could potentially result in setbacks, as the surgery itself severely limits mobility, regardless of your prior mobility history. Remember, your knee replacement surgery is a step toward improving your quality of life and regaining your independence. By following the guidance of your healthcare team and taking actionable steps, you can make a successful recovery and return to an active lifestyle. That's all for today's episode. We discuss what to do and not do during total knee replacement surgery in our next episode, so stay tuned and be on the lookout for when it becomes available. If you have any questions or would like to share your experiences, we'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to get updated for when new episodes become available. We will see you next time.